Thank you. Hello, good evening, everybody. Uh, it's my great joy to come back here once again. Uh, some of you might have known me. Uh, my name is Nokton Kano. I got married to Bonglin Moy from your church. And the first time I came here to this place was for my wedding ceremony. And today, second, is it's my great pleasure to share how the work of the Lord is going on in our family. Uh, and then the field that God has called us for there in Thailand. So it's great joy to see you. And then I am not only a Naga, but also I am a Hap by the Mo. <laughs> okay. Now today actually I would like to honor first of all to thank God for this privilege to come together and then to share the goodness of God in the family of God. All of us are even though we speak different languages, we are family in Christ. And then I would like to thank once again for the, all the youth program committee and then the chairman or whoever may be giving my name to be part of this evening service to worship together with the Lord. Yeah. Okay. Um, I would like to share this evening the how the work of the Lord going in the line of uh, our family and through in the Thailand. So we were, we are, we are missionaries uh, in Thailand. So I think um, uh, we have been traveled from May to seven, right? So we came back to Nagaland. We have a mission conference, and after that uh, we have around we go around the different churches, and then we came here to meet the uh, Moist parents, and then as well as to. See you all and to know each other. This is the only privilege that uh, we can know each other. I think both of you can see or not. I will be presenting everything, so you may sit here also, but everybody can sit together. Huh? Us. Okay, how long do you want me to take? <laughs> Two hours? <laughs> no, right. Okay, how long, initially, how long you used to, used to take sharing? Half an hour, right? Okay. <laughs> okay. I'll try, I'll try to, I want to actually, I was planning uh, something that, I want to present our ministry and then I want to encourage some few words, yeah. Okay, we'll pray first, let's pray all together. Loving Father, we want to thank you and praise you for this wonderful evening. We honor you for your goodness and kindness and protection throughout the day. Even though we don't know each other by names and personally, but we all are part of the kingdom of God. And as we come together to contemplate on your truth, may your illumination of the Holy Spirit be upon us, that we will be able to catch up and follow the instruction that you have given to us in the Holy Scriptures. We honor you for this time. We commit our times to your loving here. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, I would like to present first of all the ministry report, okay? Uh, kind of short ministry report uh, that we are doing so that you will have some glimpse that what, who we are and you know, what we are doing all this thing, yeah. Okay, this is, uh, okay, let's see how the works of the Lord going on uh, in Nam. Province Thailand. So this is the Thailand map you will see here. So the extreme part of Nam province that we live here. We are church plant, church plant. If we are doing it, we are involved in church planting ministry. So yeah, if you come back here in a place in Nam with a big church, and when many people are standing, we have full beats, standing, talking, mind. So when we go there, we don't have these things. So when we come back, stand and we'll be a little bit nervous to stand. We don't have such very personal contacting, you know, we're trying to talk to them. Uh, share about the love of Christ. Yeah. Okay, this is the place for me. What happened? This is close.
Okay, this is a northern Thailand. You can see that this is only in North Thailand population is that much language in northern Thai. And then largest population of religion is the Buddhist. You all know that uh, Buddhist Christian is 0.14%. Okay. Eventually like, among one that there are so many Christians that we know, even including I think it is not much in, in northeast India, Monman. Have you ever heard Monman? Those also look like Christians. They also under the Christian umbrella, but they are not uh, really teaching about the Bible. Okay, those people also there. So the evangelical is like 0 0.37. Things are processes going on here. Yeah. This is our family. God has blessed us. 2019 September, I called Mary's day. God has blessed us. a boy called Obed. So in Hebrew, the Obed is serving service to the Lord. So when we are serving God gives us a uh, very handsome boy, so we call him uh, Obed uh, Bangwa Kano or Kunyak. Yeah. So I'll go fast. Everything is written there. This is the Tuetio village Nan province where we visit the mountains villages. It's like we live in Sisibu town, men and border, we go up and down to the villages here. Yeah. On our way to the left. Another day, oh, this is a group photo in front of the church building. You know, church building was not built by us. There are some other missionaries, like Korea missionary, they sent to build a church. Church building, not the church. You know, church is not a building. Church is the people group who believe in Jesus Christ. Church is not a building. This is just a building, but it's not a building. But some people build a building and go around. So there is nobody. So when I can, I asked the village, yes, can I use this for worship? And they said, okay, this belongs to your Christians and maybe we don't know. So I just said, we use this one to worship. Because so few people are uh, following us uh, now so far, following the Lord uh, through our worship. This is Bible study at Phil. When I came out of the village, all of them go to the field. So I follow with them. And then after dinner, or I mean, I mean, not dinner, after lunch, we have Bible study together. It's Moist teaching, the ladies' school, yeah. There is English camp at the school. We have a team from New York, team from Singapore. We teach English freely. At the time, we can, you know, share gospel to the children at the school. Yeah, Bible study at Garrison. We have a children's home that opened by one of my senior missionaries. So I do teach here for high school, like class 11, 12 students. Yeah. And Bible study at the University House. So continue to share the gospel anywhere and everywhere. So we have, whenever we get a chance to share, be ready to share. That's what the Bible says. So wherever you need to share the gospel, then yeah. So continue Bible study. So this is a Bible study for foreign teachers. They are in, in Thailand, there are English teachers are there, like come, coming from different countries. So I start a fellowship here together. Since we all come from different countries, so let us meet together and let's have a fun. And then that's what I start. We have a Bible study starting from the kind of from Muslim, from Hindu, and from like kind of uh, Buddhist, different different uh, country, different belief. But we all speaking in this speaking community. So we live, so we share together. I was studying the Bible studies there in the school. Bible study at coffee shop, yeah. So we also get a chance to share in coffee shop. Coffee shop is the place where we can meet in Thailand normally. We meet together and we talk one another. So that's where we study at coffee shop. And we have a chance to pray and share with them. Sunday worship, it is our fellowship. Sharing gospel with Scrub Doctor. So he was the, you know, the head in the village. In those people believe I certain Hmong people, uh, tribal people, they are migrated from uh, during the first century they come to Laos, Cambodia and, and Thailand. So they are in the mountains. So those people believe that there is no heaven. They believe only hell. So he is the guy who sent to hell whoever died in the village. Praying for them. The more institute children while parents are on Bible study. So when I give Bible study, children are so noisy, so 
the movie will take care of children. Yeah. Learning Bible story, yeah, praying for the sick, and discipling for the youth and children, and hospital ministry. Bible study at our house. Poor International Fellowship. That's what I name because we all come from different background. They are none of them are Christians, but we start fellowship and kind of just fellowship work. So that's what we start. Giving a name to a newborn baby. I don't know how the EBC is doing in our place in Ireland. Whenever a newborn baby comes, when a new name came, we have a women pastor. She knew initially women pastor go and give a name. But like there we are everything, so we have to go. This is home visit. Home visit two. Praying for men after sharing the gospel. So. After sharing the gospel, the father and son. This is a way of mom funeral ceremony. That is a long story to tell, but maybe next time we will tell more. But that's how they're doing in the forest. Because they offer the dead body and give it to Satan because that's what they're doing. Christmas celebration and preaching. Okay, here. Here I want to ask a question. Do you think this five words is for you? Have you ever heard the look? Uh, the Bible says in Luke chapter 2, the harvest is plentiful, but the labors are few. So here I would like to share now, suppose I'm in Aga, you all are Vaiti speaking under EBCC whatsoever, we have different, different denominations, but my wife is from your among you. So I would like to say, don't say these people become Naga. We are part of you. So wherever you go, be with us, and we want we, we would like to be a uh, Blessing, we would like to get blessing from you guys to pray for us, follow up with us. We also would like to accountable to the EBCU, especially this hometown church. Okay, as a church, we have heard right that labor, I don't know how this, you use your language, the harvest is plentiful, labors are few. That's what normally we hear from during Chagu. I don't know, you have heard initially, right? In the church. So here, as a church individual or organization, how have you been participated in the great field of God? You know, as in your church, as EBC, from EBC to Zion Bank, Zion Bank to uh, your church, from your church to uh, you, you to your family, colony, and then your individual. How have you been participated? That's a command from the Lord. That's what given to everybody, not only to me, not only to you, everybody who ever believed in Jesus Christ and follow the teaching of the church. They are responsible. Okay, if the Lord speaks to you now, you are you can participate in the global missions in three ways. Very easy way, but by going, the Great Commission, everybody knows that. By going to the field, or if you cannot go, just give them. You know, the giving is a biblical principle in the life of Jesus life. You know, the Apostle Paul and all this giving principle is from the scripture. So they are giving. Even if you are not able to keep, you can pray for them a daily. We work at the Krishna International team. We require each missionary to 100 daily prayer partners. So we would like to require to uh, today the EBC Zion Bank Jew. If you would like to be part of our family working in Thailand together, even you might not, uh, even though you cannot go and reach there, you can be part of our ministry in whichever way that you can through your prayer. Okay, you can say, I can be a hundred daily prayer partners, then I can give you an email, and then you give me your emails, and we will contact everyday prayer partners. That's why we are very uniquely, we follow our principle, having a hundred daily prayer partners for each missionaries. Okay, what is my ambition and purpose in born again Christian in the kingdom of God? That's question to everybody, right? So. Here I would like to see, my ambition has been always been to preach the good news where the name of Christ has never been heard. Okay, rather than where a church has already been started by someone else. That is translation from NLT. 
you can see the one chapter 50 verse 20. You can open and see in your how is your translation in the Bible translations. There is NLT translations. So I remember when I was a young, you know, when I was doing my seminary, you know, I've heard most of the time people go to go back to a church and do this, and then all the we are, you know, from the especially from our Naga people, our Naga, we Naga people are from so many people call us a Christians. Maybe probably in five years, all of us Christian, we go to seminary and study seminary, come back to our church, like it's kind of we are from a Christian jail to Christian jail, Christian jail to Christian jail. We have no idea what great commission means. That is calling for everybody, right? We are just running around to what a Christian jail, Christian environment, worship, singing. Those all are good in the to grow the body of Christ in the local church. But someone is to obey command of the Lord as well. Okay, what am I going to do with the message that I have heard from the Lord? I hope everybody heard the gospel of Christ. I hope every one of you are Christians, right? But here Paul says, I mean Luke says in the text here, but I count my life of no value to myself so that I may finish my course, the ministry that I received from the Lord Jesus. To testify the gospel of God's grace. God's grace is given to even others. So we are responsible to tell them the God's grace, the outside world. Maybe even within the uh, Lamba town, there are many people who have never heard the gospel. Okay, so that's uh, yeah. So we pray, we appreciate your prayer support for Thailand Mission Phil. And if Lord keep your burden, you can participate in Thailand missions, make Thailand missions through, through your prayer and giving, or and uh, maybe going to there. So thanks for watching. And then, uh, yeah. Last, uh, was that? I want to play a video. The song we have a lot of meaning is there. The song is there. Can you see it clear? Not clear. Uh, I don't know what's the problem. Sorry. Not clear, right? It's clear. Not clear. It's very clear in my laptop. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why it's not clear. I don't, I don't know if the... You guys don't want to see. <laughs> um, okay, this is almost the same. Uh, okay, let's go to other. I would like to share some encouragement uh, from very short encouragement to you all. Okay. Oh, the, here's the question. Every morning when you wake up, what do you want to hear daily? Or do you have do you want to hear anything when you wake up? Or just wake up and just brush your teeth, just go around, wherever you, just randomly. Or you have any kind of thinking that observation of your life, yourself, not even the others around you, yourself. What am I going to do? Do you have any plans like that? Anybody? What do you want to hear this morning when you wake up? What do you think? Or you just randomly, whatever comes, you just pick up in your ear, bed or good, everything like trash, you know? Just like that? Is it clear, right? Okay, next. What is the best or what is the happiest news you have ever heard in your life? A girl loves you, a boy loves you, or you have a you know, big amount of money in your bank, or you, re you receive a friend request. Well, what, else, what is the news that you have ever heard in your life? So this is the thought provoking you think yourself. If you want to answer, you can answer. What is the best news ever heard in your life? You pass metric, or, or otherwise you finish, or otherwise you may be BA or MA, or school result, 
Okay. If you hear the same news every day, will you happy to listen to them every time? Suppose Lanka was or uh, Lanka, uh, your colony has a news, no? Right, newspaper, right? If you happen to print out one month same thing, will you happy to read everything in detail? Yes? No. Why? Why, why? why don't you want to listen? That's the key point. Why? Why? Because you already know, right? You already know. And you are very familiar. All the same. When you're heading, so you're just familiar. Oh, I don't want to see. So we can't go over straight up. I don't want to see, right? Yes? But here, for me, I would like to say, yes, for me, I want to share the news daily. The Jesus died, Jesus Christ died on the cross for me and to save for me. That is called gospel, which is good news for me. I love to listen to this news every day until my last day. Okay? Okay, I hope many of you have heard the gospel. Yes? You all are Christian, yes? How do you know that you are Christian? By going to church? Or your parents become a Christian? Or EBC force you to become a Christian? Or your elders tell you that you must come to church? Hey, you are young, you are youth, you have to be in the church. That's why you can. Yes? Okay, many times we hear the gospel, but we don't or they don't understand it because they listen to reply. You know, how many times in the school a lecture in time or it's a classroom? Some people listen to reply, quick reply, you know. Some people listen to understand. Some people listen just for the sake of listening. There are three kinds of listening. Some people just listen for the sake of I'm here, I should be listening. Some people listen to understand. Some people listen to reply. So while you are listening to reply, you forgot the important point. The gospel you forgot. While the pastor is preaching, but the missionary or elders is teaching you about the good news of Christ, you are very much curious to reply that point, particular point, and you forgot it. Dear my brothers and sisters, Christianity is not a religion, it is a relationship, and that's a very individual. I'll give you the best example. Believing in Jesus Christ is not your father and mother who make you, not parents, not your pastor, elders. For example, if you eat the food, you have to eat for yourself. You cannot eat for your mother, your mother, sister, brother. Or if I eat because I love my son so much, I will eat on behalf of him. Will he food? He will be still hungry. The same concept going in salvation is a very individual. Nobody can help you. But you have to accept Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. Especially um, Christian circle, grown up in Christian environment. And you think that you are Christian, but you have never heard the gospel individually. You have never experienced that the Holy Spirit is convicting you in your life. That could be. So, this is a chance that you know, what is the gospel? You might have heard Ephesians, you know, Ephesians chapter 2 says, For by grace, and our faith is by grace, you know. And then John 3, 16, you all know, oh, God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten. That's from two sons to everybody. And, oh, I know, I know this. And John 3, 16, yeah, I know those things. Right. And then Romans chapter, okay. First Corinthians chapter 15, verse 1 and 2. Yeah, I know scripture saying Christ died, burial, and resurrected. We have heard every Sunday we sing, right? Right. And Romans chapter 8 said, one day I am yet sinner, Christ died for me. Yeah, Christ died for me. Yeah, I'm a Christian. But you forgot the important point. You are so there are many biblical passages, the gospel pages, you are not seriously listening. The voice of the Lord is, you know, especially the Christian. Unbeliever is one that listens seriously, they accept it. Jesus Christ. If they're seriously they're holding it. But the Christian family, I as a as a Christian family, I've grown up, we are hearing as a very usually we are here, I like as a casual. Oh, I often hear, I often go to church, you know. The voice of the Lord is like in 
and there's a small second is going, you have you will never hear when you talk around. Do you hear? You don't hear, but in the midnight, when you sleep so quiet, even the watch, you will hear it. It's going, right? But when you walk around, you will never hear it. The same thing, we are so busy in the ministry, so busy in church, we are so busy in family, in business, you forgot to listen to the voice of God. Sometimes God keep on speaking to you, keep on knocking to your heart, very silently, non-stop. But you are busy in ministry for God. I'm busy in doing so many activities. Okay? Okay, so that's what as a Christian we all know the truth. We do believe them, but don't we? We do believe them, right? All the Jesus Christ died for you. Everybody believe, right? Yes, I'm Christian, you believe, right? Do we? But however, do you remember the gospel that daily? What is the gospel? How will you say? Support. If you happen to be in the, some, let's say, Manipuri word, you slam uh, Mayam, shopkeeper. I want to be a Christian. Will you please share to me, uh, gospel to me? How will you share? Are you ready to share? Because we pastor teachers and then the Christian, they are very familiar that we forgot the basic thing. Without the basic, you cannot be Christians. Because gospel is the only door that you to become Christians. And then we are so much involving in the Christian society and Christian environment and you forgot the basic and you are part of, a, you look like Christians, you know, look at our, uh, like especially in Nagaland and here, why the corruption is there? Because they forgot the basic, that's why pastor is not telling the truth, elder is not telling you the truth, elder don't want to tell about your sin, your sin is a very dangerous because sin is a very dangerous, therefore, Please go away from there. Sin is killing you, the society. Sin is killing you personally and affect to your society, to your state, your country. We never do the basic thing we lack, we forgot. And that is a cause that we will see and we enjoy in the cause. And we keep on barking. Oh, our leaders not, your society is not, so many times. Right? So then, remember the gospel is only very big, easy way that I would like you to tell the number one is God, man, Christ, respond. The four way you can share gospel, the four way you can remember. You know, God who? God is holy God. God wants us to be holy. But man, what is a man? Second, man is sin. Because of our sin, we are designed to go to hell. Then God is making provision of Christ. Right? Christ died on the cross on behalf of us while you and I are yet sinner. Right? So, whether you accept or not, respond is your responsibility. Your response is to accept or not accept. So, God, man, Christ respond. So, the easy way you can share with others, and then if you have not accepted, you have to be listening carefully that uh, that uh, concern. So, I just keep like a uh, um, Kind of outline. I'm just like by trying to share short. Okay. Uh, all right. Other ones coming back again. Uh, oh. I don't know why the old is not messed up. Is it clear? Not clear again, right? Okay. Okay. We don't remember daily gospel. What will happen? What will happen? We or I will lose our relationship with God, number one. Okay? And we will lose our relationship with our fellow believers in our society. So, and then from your loose relationship from your family, husband, wife, and children, going on and on and on. So many relationships will be broken. That's why the gospel should be remembered daily. Okay. Therefore, you and I must remember gospel daily. Okay. The daily is a key word here. You see there? Daily is a key word. If you don't, if you do not remember this truth daily, 
okay then there are then there are good chances that we might slip into all idea what is all idea you know the red mark that we have to work it out for ourselves my duty my goodness my faithfulness will lead me to go to heaven no that's completely against the scriptures okay that's what happened to the christian in the churches of galatia okay paul was amazed at the way that quickly deserted christ and turned to another gospel which is of works that you can see in galatians chapter 1 verse 6 that's why paul is saying in chapter 3 they you foolish galatian they have heard the gospel they know they have been following and then they try to follow the old idea by doing work they want to go to heaven by doing their good work okay even today if you do not guard our hearts and mind we might slowly slightly into the believing that our devotional life or our service toward our local church or our charity toward others or any such work of ours rather than the finished work of Jesus on the cross. That's why the gospel is very important. Your good work, God doesn't require. God wants you to obey His will. Nothing else. If you consider yourself as a Christian, obey the ways of the Lord. Because of Adam and Eve disobey the cause we receive today. Therefore, today God has given us another provision through Christ just to accept Him as a God in your master and to obey. Just obey His word that is written in the scriptures. Nothing more, nothing less. We all are looking for someone approved. Okay? We all are looking for someone else approved and we want to approve ourselves by what we are doing or achieving, right? That's the worldly standard of measurement. That's what the world measurement to you and I, right? What degree you hold, what job you have, how many money you have, what kind of house you have, what vehicle that you use, bike or car. That's the measurement by the world. Okay? Okay. The, the, the world needs a proof that who you are and what we are doing. But God will approve through Jesus Christ. God look, looks at you through Jesus Christ. Okay? And that is why we need to hear the gospel daily because our memories are too short. Okay? Here. Let me tell you here. Okay. Check our heart daily whether your life leaves cross center or not or gospel center gospel center or cross center so this is why i keep my picture you want to check my wife and what about daily reminding how will you work remember gospel daily through your prayer through your singing in the song is a very important when you have a song you compose the relics should be a very much pointing to the cross and you sing and remember it the death of Christ that make you to be a Christian. That is called gospel center song. It's not every Christian song is not a gospel. Gospel center song, cross center song, cross cross center song is pointing to your death for me. That is called gospel song. Not every Christian song is a gospel song. So that's why I'm saying that that check your song that you work on track or not. What is track? Gospel prayer. That's what God wanted to do. Not everybody become Christian, boom. Okay, you all go to heaven, boom. It's not like that. That's why Matthew said, not everybody called Lord, Lord, shall go to heaven. Right? Remember? Matthew said, right? So when you be in that part, just call Lord, Lord, to be part of fellowship, singing like anything, go to hell. Finally. You want to be like that? Nobody, right? Everybody want to go to heaven. But not everybody wants to obey the word of God. That's the problem. We want to go to heaven, but we don't want to obey the word. Because they obey his word, they go to heaven. But we want to go to heaven, we don't want to obey God. 
So we contradict ourselves, we make threat to ourselves. Okay? I see this, then they see in my own heart. I'm saying I confess myself. I said, if the gospel did not remind I can this to myself that if if I turn my eyes away from Jesus, then for sure I will slip into that. The old idea. Right? I want to grow myself, I want to be good, you know. I want to be very smooth, to be a Christian, I want to go to heaven. You know, that all idea. That's not a Bible idea, the New Testament idea. So we need to hear the gospel every day because we forget it every day. Do we? Do we forget? We forget every day. Therefore, you have to remember gospel every day. You are saved by gospel, you have to live by gospel. Nothing else. When you are saved by gospel, you live by world. No! God doesn't say you don't obey the word of the Lord, right? So, if you don't hear gospel often, what will happen? Forget everything. You become a new citizen and look like a Christian. You, know, you go to church, you participate in the society. You look like Christian, but you are not Christian. God doesn't say you be look like Christian. God says you be Christian. Obey my word. You are my child. Tell you to church, local church, whoever Christian. You need to obey my word. And you should be a Christian. God doesn't say, you look like a Christian. You live like a Christian. He doesn't say that. Christian is a he who obey the word of the Lord. Are called a Christian. If you don't obey, but you are not like Christian. It doesn't happen to those people who go to heaven. Okay. You are saved by the gospel. So you must live by the gospel every day. Do we? If you are not saved by the gospel, my dear brothers and sisters, today I would like you to question. Please concern yourself. Talk to the Lord. Where am I, Lord? Am I really hearing your voice? Am I really accepting gospel, Jesus Christ as my personal savior? Or because of my society compelling me to be a Christian? Or my parents? Or my parents become Christian, I shall become Christian. It's not automatic you to become a Christian. Going to heaven is not automatic system. You have to believe. That's why Bible says, Jesus said, I am the door. He is the only the way and door. So without the gospel, you cannot how long or how many years you have been Christian, it doesn't matter. The how you accept Jesus Christ, that is the basic point. Gospel, how you accept. And that's how we need to live the gospel. Therefore, we can't open the Bible without talking about the cross of Jesus Christ. Because all the summit is pointing toward the cross, and the New Testament looks backward to the cross. So let us remind the gospel or the cross of Christ to one another daily, so that we all will remember this great truth daily until our last breath. Because that will make you to go to heaven. Nothing at our work, not your service. Why we serve? Why we keep, you know, as a gratitude to work God. It's not you serve or you become good Christian. It's not because you want to, God wants you to accept. You are not advertising to God. The people who accept God as a thankful man, you serve, you sing, you know, you worship, you praise God. Because of out of you are saved from sin, so you thankfully you serve voluntarily. Is that's why you serve. It's not the way that you are advertising to God that oh I am good so God will tell me you. You don't have to advertise. You need to experience personal salvation through Christ, not from anybody. You only have to experience from the Bible. That's how they are called as Christians. So, but remember, if our conscience says I am good then the cross or the gospel is no longer important to you. That's no longer important. Why did I say, you know, the whole, you know, I, I'm not going to this uh, kind of a teaching, I'm just, I'm teaching, I'm kind of teaching, sharing tonight. If you want to see the why, I should say, many people Christians are shocked. Why should I open the story of Abraham and Moses and tell about Jesus Christ? Why Abraham is God for you? Why Moses for you? Why Daniel? Because God has purpose to cross in order to bring everybody from the sin. That is a way. Everybody is pointing to the cross. If you are not believe the Hebrew study people, you can ask in Genesis chapter 1, verse 1. In the beginning, 
The is at by English. In the Hebrew word, there is no the. If you say the beginning word, the Hebrew word, only the one word study, you will clearly see the death of Christ and then the cross and then the resurrection. Each word, the word is called in Hebrew a bara. If you study the word itself, that is so amazing for me to see that I cannot open the Bible without talking about the cross of Christ on behalf of me. So I would like to request my dear brothers and sisters, the cross is the only center, the gospel is the only center, you will make it go to heaven. So please, don't forget the gospel. You are, if you consider yourself a saved by gospel, you live by gospel daily until you will last break. How? So you're singing, sharing one another, reminding one another. So that gospel is the only source of our life to lead to the heaven. Not all other activities, not all the so many things. Those things you can do as a thankfulness. But remember, through your prayers, through your activities, remind the gospel daily. May God bless you. And if I'm, if I'm trying to, as much as I'll try to make it short, but um, taking quite time, so I would like to share you. I love you all, therefore I share all this thing. Make sure that you all are knowing or uh, hearing the gospel. Gospel is more important than who uh, we are participating Christians by sharing. So thank you for the opportunity. Thank you for the privilege. So as I told, we are part of your church. Uh, this is not only your congregation. Please tell to your church and elders that uh, we are part of your family. And please remember us since the, still the Moist family is still there. So please continue to pray for us. And if you want us to update our daily work, we are happy to update you all. Continue to pray for us. Thank you very much. God bless you.